Hello my friends, Amy R here with Prairie Paper and Ink with the first of many videos for Stamped Timber. So for those not familiar or wondering or just need a refresher, throughout the month Simon Says Stamp is releasing limited edition exclusive sets that they have collaborated with with many different brands throughout the month. These sets our limited edition, once they sell out, they will not be restocked. There's going to be tons to choose from. And this very first one is the Warm Wishes stamp set by Honeybee Stamps. So I will have a link to the set. And there's also, there's a stamp set. And you can also get it with a coordinating die set. So I will have links to that in the description box below the video. So I started off by inking up some of the images from this little set with uh, Simon's Intense Black Ink and I stamped this onto uh, smooth white cardstock. Once this was stamped, I'm going to use my Copic markers to color these images in. So this is a 6 by 8 stamp set. So there's a whole bunch of images so you can create cute little like winter scenes. So I went with the snowman, of course, and there's these three fun little trees and this pile of presents. And I also stamped the scarf because you can give your little snowman some accessories because there's a scarf and a hat and yeah, some really great sentiments, etc. So I did very simple Copic coloring, working just darkest to lightest like a broken record. Um, I always, I generally almost always do darkest to lightest with Copic coloring. It's just a laziness slash um, comfortable sort of a thing because I've been coloring with them for so many years. So I did very light blues for the snowman and then I'm doing reds for his little scarf and for one of these gifts. And I added like R39 to my general go-to red combo, which is R27 and R29, R27, and R24. But I added the R39 because it just deepens it up a little bit. Plus, because I was planning on adding some red cardstock for the sentiment. And that just kind of ties it all together. So, reds... I went with like a deep sort of aqua teal color because I plan on doing some ink blending for my background and then a lighter aqua color for these gifts and then some nice deep greens for the trees and then the one um, ribbon on these gifts. So after everything was colored, I used my Jelly Roll 10 white gel pen, my, my go-to gel pen to add um, some pattern to the gifts just you know livens it up a little bit so I just drew in some little lines I'm going to add some little dots and then I'm just going to add more little random highlights again not following any sorts of rules of light sources or anything there's nothing wrong with that at all I, I love seeing people color more realistically and when you add proper shading and depth and stuff it's amazing how you can make images just pop but I just don't. <laughs> so I just added highlights where, you know, just wherever. Just It just gives it a little extra something. So I added all the highlights. And then I decided rather than just make a regular card, um, I pulled out this A2 Scene Builder card base wafer die set. This is a big die set. These two great big huge wafer dies. I die cut the background from more smooth white cardstock. You probably can't see it in the video at the moment. There's score lines on either side. So I took this piece and I used some post-it tape to mask off where the score lines are. And I'm gonna put this in my Misty. And then I'm gonna stamp. There's this um, snow stamp, great big long stamp. This set would be really nice for doing like um, portrait, or landscape version, uh, like slimline cards, mini slimline cards, especially. That's what I was originally going to do. But again, I went with this little fun little um, card base to make like a little box card. So I used my anti-static powder tool and I stamped the snowfall image with clear embossing ink. So again, right now it looks like nothing. <laughs> and I'm taking the post tape off before I add my embossing powder and heat anything only because I didn't want to like warp the um, post-it tape because I want to do some ink blending and I just, I wanted those crisp 
just the crisp lines, you know? So I melted that with my heat tool after I applied the white embossing powder. And then I just reapplied my post-it tape right along those score lines. And then I'm going to just do a really easy blend using Distress Oxide inks. So I'm going to use Salvaged Patina Uncharted Mariner, which I've said this in a recent video. I'm kind of obsessed with this color. It's just beautiful. So anyway, Salvaged Patina Uncharted Mariner and Chipped Sapphire Oxide inks. And I started with my lightest and I'm using a blending brush and I'm starting with the bottom first. So I started with the Salvaged Patina blended that on and then I'm going in with the Uncharted Mariner Oxide Ink and then blending that into it and then I'll go in with the Chip Sapphire and bring that in from the top and because I heat embossed that little snowfall image um, that's going to resist this ink. So I'm gonna go back and forth a little bit. I've sped this up in editing but go back and forth between the colors until I'm happy with the blend. And then once I'm happy with that, I'm just going to use my microfiber cloth because oxide inks, especially because I have the pigments in it, it will sit a little bit on top of the heat embossing. So wiping that away with the cloth makes it stand out and be more crisp. So wiped off that excess, blended a little tiny bit more. And then when I remove the post-it tape, I've got those nice crisp edges. So now you with this uh, scene builder card base, this was released last year, I think with Honeybee. It's still available. I will have a link to this die set as well. So with the back, you fold those panels in towards you. And then the other wafer die creates the frame for the front. And it also has score lines. So I just reinforced all those folds with my bone folder. And then I also use, there's a companion wafer die set. It's the A2 Mountain Scene Builder add-on. And this creates my little scene to adhere on my little... Um, elements that I stamped and colored. So I die cut the little mountain piece from some smoke gray cardstock and then the other two pieces I die cut from more white cardstock as well as the little there's um, the snow here for the mountains. There is also little trees that you can die cut. I didn't use them for this since I had these ones that I had stamped and colored. So then to assemble, super easy, I used red line tape and I just put it on the tabs. These wafer dies also have the, the you know, score lines that score on each end. So I found the easiest way to do this was to just start lining it up. Um, I'm just eyeballing it, honestly. <laughs> so ad adhering from the left. So I just removed the red line backing and then fold that over. Just, it's easier to see what I'm doing than trying to explain it. So I've got those three layers. So then they're gonna be staggered when this is open and then you just open up that tab remove those three um, red line backers there and then I can fold over this piece on the right and press that down really well and there I've got my little scene and it helps to like fold it back and forth I kept doing this as I was working on it just kept folding back and forth so that this will open up easily and close easily so then I'm going to start figuring out how to, you know, where I want to put all my little elements. I decided to adhere one side of this frame just to kind of give me a visual guide as to where everything wanted to go. So put red line tape on the large tabs on the frame. And then I'm just going to adhere again from the left side there. So just line her up and it covers up the tabs on um, from the back, basically. So I've got my little frame in place, but I haven't adhered it just yet because I thought it would just kind of be easier. Honestly, you could just adhere it and then adhere the pieces. It, it doesn't really matter. So once I was happy with everything, I'm going to start adhering and I'm just going to use, uh, for this, I'm just going to use a bit of craft tacky glue because this gives me a little more wiggle room to move things around and make sure things are in place. With this though, you want to make sure you don't use too much liquid glue or the, at least let it dry, you know, before you're like folding things back and forth, etc. Because you don't want to end up gluing, you know, the layers together, if you know what I mean. So the sentiment is from that Warm Wishes set. And I had white heat embossed that on some uh, Schoolhouse Red cardstock from Simon Says Stamp. So I adhered that to my background and then adhered, you know, my gifts. I've got the trees and I'm just kind of adhering them to those different layers. So it just kind of builds up that like 3D element of this scene. 
and then I've got my little snowman. I'd adhered his little his little scarf, and then I'll adhere that remaining little tree, and then I can remove the red line from this frame, adhere that into place, and that actually finishes the card. I could have like zhuzhed it up a bit. I wanted to add artificial snow, and I can't I can't find half my supplies at the moment. Like. I'm, I'll find it once this video is like officially uploaded. I'm sure I'll find it. <laughs> but you could add some glitter, all that. But I just, I thought the box card just says this is really cute. So this fits in an A2 envelope, as I'm showing here. I'm using one of Simon's metallic schoolhouse red uh, envelopes. And there we go. We've got this fun little card scene that's going to sit up like so. So like I said earlier, the Warm Wishes set and its coordinating die set is limited edition. Everything else I used is just regular products. I will have links to all of it in the description box below the video, as well as on my blog. All the info will be on my blog as well. That will be linked directly below. So you can check that out if you are interested. Thank you all so much for watching, for subscribing and thumbs upping and commenting. I very much appreciate it. And stay tuned because I have plenty more videos coming. Bye.